Okay, it's a messy day and don't look at my eye because I have burst blood vessel. Today, today we're upcycling a piece of artwork. It's windy outside, but I got started and then I said, holy shit, I need to ask for advice. So I'm asking for your help. What should I do? Should I continue to upcycle this or should I restore it or what? Here's a piece of artwork. Boom, I'll put a picture up here. And here's a little footage of what I had intended to do. Okay, so this is it. I covered it up in plastic, the gold balls, because I wanted to keep them. And then I wanted to paint everything else white. But then you can see, last couple times it got painted, there was some like dust and then rust on it. So here's one where I it actually never got painted the first time and I'm starting to try and remove the rust. And you can see how it looks like mirrored, you see? And that's maybe not so well. That one, this one completely avoided it and I took most of the rust off that. That's showing you what it used to look like. As well as over here, this one has like that oil tinge look to it here. You can kind of see that one there. So that's what it originally looked like in its original form. I will insert a picture, if I can find one online or my mom's house, of what it originally looked like. Then it was black. And then I did the gold balls, and now it's going white. So, steel wool first uh, to get off any remaining rust and dust that got painted over. And then I guess I'm going to go over it with a tack cloth. I am not going to spend more than an hour on this, so it's not going to be perfect. But um, that's what it is. That's what I'm doing. All right. Uh, I'll show you what it turns out like. Okay, so you can see that artwork, and then I went online to look at it, and I found out it was a Curtis Jar, Jur, Curtis Jur artwork, and it's called Raindrops, and I don't know if it's a knockoff, my parents don't remember where they got it, Curtis Jur which is actually a name of two artists combined into one, and they sold artwork from like the 1950s to the 19... 80s, okay? And Let's me give you the history on this piece of artwork. Somehow my parents got it in the 1980s and it hung in their house in a while and then in the 90s it went up into the attic. And then somewhere in the 2000s my father was cleaning out the attic and I was like, don't get rid of that piece of artwork, I love it. But it had totally rusted. So he spray painted it black and it moved to my house in maybe like 2004. And so it sat on the wall and I loved it. Even spray painted black, I loved it. And so then it went into storage, we moved and blah, blah, blah. Here it is, I refinished my basement. I do not want it black, I want it white. I still love it. And I don't know if it's original or a knockoff because it was spray painted so I can't even see if it was signed. And I don't know what to do and help me decide. And while you're thinking, here is some footage of the sound of me sanding it all. I used steel, steel wool to clean it off and it made the most magnificent sounds I had unintentionally, which I do all the time, left my phone on and it was recording while I cleaned it. So enjoy that music and let for a few minutes and then let me know what you think. Should I restore it? Should I continue my plan to paint it and enjoy it for years to come? Or I don't know what to do. Like, am I destroying a piece of artwork? But it's already been destroyed. Am I destroying it by continuing? I don't know. Help me decide. Thank you, YouTube. We'll get back to normally scheduled videos soon when this eye clears up. <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye.